Hi, I'm Lawrence from Force 4 Chargery, and today I want to give you a brief overview of the new range of bilge pumps that we're stocking here at Force 4. These are track bilge pumps, um, which are track part of the Camco Group. It's a large American company that we've been dealing with for a number of years, and we found the quality of their products to be excellent. Uh, we sell things like their Kuma barbecues, um, and it's, it's really top quality stuff. So uh, their bilge pumps seem to be built just as well as everything else in the range. Um, they're well proven, it's not a brand new product. These have been around in the States for, for quite a number of years. Um, uh, but it's something, as I say, that we're now sort of talking to bring into the UK. So um, the range itself is a really nice, concise range. There's two manual pumps, there's a 600 and 1100, and there's two auto pumps, again, 600 and 1100. Uh, there's also a small, um, auto switch as well which you can either retrofit to an existing pump that you might have um, that fits most small smaller bilge pumps up to about 1500 gallons per hour um, or obviously it works with the, the Camco uh, track pumps as well. Um, now the 600 uh, versions come with a, a, a three quarter inch outlet the larger versions, the 1100s, come with both a three quarter inch outlet and an inch and an eighth outlet. Now with the smaller outlet the flow rate is reduced to about 800 gallons per hour, but it does give you that flexibility to possibly utilize any plumbing or fittings that are already on the boat without having to run a larger hose. Um, but if you do, if you start from scratch and you do want the larger flow rate, then it's very, very simple. You just unscrew this blue bezel here and you can swap the um, three quarter spigot for an inch and an eighth spigot like that. Nice and easy. Um, and you can swap that back as well. Another nice thing um, about these outlets is that they allow you to adjust the hose departure angle as well. So, you know, if your um, skin fittings up there or up there, you, you can get the angle um, much more, um, much better than if it's just a fixed figure coming straight out of the pump. When you've got it right, you just tighten that down. You've got a little rubber O-ring seal uh, in there. So again, dead easy. Now the, uh, that feature it is on all of these pumps, but the smaller 600, both the manual and the auto, now they just come with the three quarter because that's all they need. Uh, it's the larger two pumps um, that come with the two sizes. So um, one nice thing about these pumps as well is that they are uh, a tool free disassembly. Um, these pumps are often tucked away in a bilge, somewhere relatively inaccessible. So the last thing you really want is to be trying to get uh, spanners and screwdrivers and things like that. So once they're installed uh, and this base that it sits on has a whole variety of, um, of screw holes and fixing it's designed to retrofit uh, existing pumps like wall pumps and outward tsunami pumps and things like that. So once it's installed, you can simply remove it just by pushing in these two little clips here. Um, you can take the hose off again without having to use uh, or undo things like Jubilee clips or and wrestle hose off the off the spigot you just simply unscrews you can leave all that in situ and then you can actually bring the pump out to where you can service it um, the pump itself actually has a, a in the auto ones have a mechanical switch um, and and we love the mechanical switches uh, a lot of the more modern pumps use um, the the field sensing switches which are are billed as being ultra reliable um, but the main problem is that most of the time when there's an issue with these pumps, there's just a blockage or something like that. And, uh, and they're very difficult to diagnose. There's no moving parts. You can't just override the pump and, uh, and, and try and find out what's actually the issue. Uh, whereas with this one, without disassembling the pump at all, you can actually cycle the float switch uh, and see if that's what's at fault, if there's a blockage in that. Um, or if not, you very quickly you need to take the whole pump off its base and then you can twist that and that removes the whole pump uh, motor from the body so again, you can, you've got that in your hand, you can clear any blockages, give it a really good clean, which is well worth doing you know, periodically anyway. Um, and then just simply put that back together, um, put that one back on the base. Again, no tools, and you can do pretty much all of this one-handed as well. So if it's in a really inaccessible space under an engine, um, you've got that option. Um, one thing I should have mentioned about the um, base is that it also has the option to side mount. It's got two screw holes just in the side there as well. So if you don't fancy screwing into the, what could be the hull of the boat, you can mount it on a, on a on the vertical surface, which is great if you've got a rib with a little splash well at the back or something like that. Um, but um, yeah, 
another nice feature about the pumps. Uh, and then we'll see just uh, reattach your hose and the pumps ready to go again. Now the auto pumps come with a three year warranty, uh, which is really nice. They, um, Camco obviously have a, a, a lot of faith in this switch. They put a lot of um, work into designing it and its reliability. So they do back that up with that three year warranty. The cheaper manual pumps, they come with a one year warranty um, and that's fine if very little to go wrong with them actually. Um, but, um, and that goes for the, uh, the automatic switch as well. The auto switch is, again, it's a mechanical switch a uh, simple float switch, when it raises into the up position, it will turn a pump on. And when it drops back down as the water level drops, it will then um, turn a pump off. So that's a new range of bilge pumps from Track. Um, they're all um, perfectly happy uh, running dry. The motors are centrifugal motors, so um, you know, they're, they're protected as well. They're things like ignition protected. So um, yeah, really nice range of pumps with some really good features on them.